In this video, we want to talk about something called function operations or operations on functions. And basically what we're doing is that we're going to take the basic four mathematical operators of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and apply them to functions. So you're going to see notation like this. You're going to see in parentheses f plus g of x. And the better way of seeing this is to understand that means f of x plus g of x. And you see something very similar for everything else. If you see f minus g of x, we split that up to say f of x minus g of x. And these guys are stuck right next to each other. That indicates multiplication. And then of course, you've got division. And the one caveat here with division is that uh, you can't be dividing by zero, because we know that when you divide by zero, you're going to be undefined. So let's see what this looks like with some, uh, some examples. So if I tell you that f of x is 4x plus 10, and g of x is negative 5x plus 2, let's evaluate f plus g of negative 4. Now there's an easy way and there's a hard way of doing it. The hard way is to take these two variable expressions, add them together as variable expressions, and then plug in negative 4. The easier way, though, is to understand that all we need to do is say f of negative 4 plus g of negative 4 like this. In other words, take f and evaluate that at negative 4. Take g and evaluate that at negative 4. So do them separately and then bring those answers together according to whatever the function says. In this case, you want to be adding these guys. So I like to color code things. So I'm going to be using pink for f and I'm going to be using this lovely blue color here for g. So off to the side, I'm going to work out each of these. So I need to figure out f of negative 4. So f of negative 4, here I go right here. So it's 4 times negative 4 plus 10. Do the arithmetic, negative 16 plus 10, and I get negative 6. All right. That is really all that I'm trying to do there for that first part. And then we go to g. Find g of negative 4. All right, so that means negative 5 times x, which in this case is negative 4, plus 2. Working this out, I get 20 plus 2, and I get 22. Right? So I work these functions out individually, both of them evaluated at negative 4. That's really, I mean, this is about as easy as it's going to be this semester to evaluate. I mean, you're just evaluating a function. Plug in the number and get out the, the output value. So I've got those two individual numbers, and now I do what this says. It says add these guys. So use parentheses when you plug in these evaluations. So f of negative 4 is negative 6. And g of negative 4 is 22. And so we do what it says here, negative 6 plus 22. When you free those guys from those parentheses, you combine and you get positive 16. And that's it. So separate, evaluate, and then do whatever it says. Um, this guy very easily could have said f times g, where they could have been right next to each other. You still would have found these values here, but instead of adding, you would have multiplied because you do whatever it says. Uh, in this next part, part b, still using these same two functions, f and g, it says find f divided by g of 6. So that means that we need to find f of 6, find g of 6, now once we find those guys, we're just going to do division. All right, so create some separation here. I need to find I need to find f of six. All right, so I'm still using the same function f, so that's four times six plus ten, so twenty four plus 10 equals 34, all right? That's half of the work. The other half is you finding and evaluating g of six. 
All right, so g of 6 is negative 5 times 6 plus 2, all right? So negative 30 plus 2 equals negative 28. So we have the two separate evaluations, and let's bring them back in to what we have here. All right, so in my numerator, f of 6 is 34. And g of 6 is negative 28. We just need to divide, really just simplify the fraction because I do not want a decimal. We can reduce 34 and 28 by a common factor of 2. So 34 divided by 2 is 17, and 28 divided by 2 is 14. And so there you go. That's it. We evaluate these guys separately, and then we bring them all together, and we reduce. All right? Let's see what other trouble we can get into.